Okay, welcome back team. Now we're gonna go over what exactly an antigen is. So basic definition first. An antigen is any part of a pathogen that the body will, an immune response, will recognize as one, foreign, and then two, harmful to the body. So something that's gonna cause disease and symptoms. So we're not talking about good bacteria and viruses and other microorganisms right now. We're only talking about pathogens. So of course we can have dysregulation of the immune response where the immune response thinks that certain self um, pieces of the body are uh, antigens when they shouldn't be. So when you have autoimmune disease, for example, that's when your immune response thinks that parts of your own body or parts of your cells are actually harmful and foreign. So they mount or stimulate an immune response against those what we call self antigens. But we don't want that situation. We only want um, our immune response to recognize things that are foreign and harmful, second part. The other part is when this response is dysregulated is during allergies. So when your body thinks that something that is formful, foreign but not harmful um, is an antigen, it will mount a response against that when it shouldn't, it should just be something, oh, that's harmless, we shouldn't do anything about that. So this is like food allergies. So people with Crohn's disease or IBS, inflammatory bowel syndrome, they might eat a piece of kale or something else. And your immune system in the gut will be like, oh, this is foreign and harmful and they'll mount uh, an immune response against that food. So that's not good. Uh, another example is if you have an allergy to cats. So you're, you've got the pet, you breathe in the cat dander, and your immune response in your lungs and your nose thinks that that's a harmful and foreign uh, pathogen. So it mounts an immune response. This time you'll have wheezing, uh, mucus, you'll have, so you'll have to blow your nose, sneezing, you might have redness, swelling. That's all an allergic response to something that was foreign but harmless. Okay, getting back to the antigen. So hopefully you reviewed what is a protein and how amino acids are the bricks that make up all the different proteins in our body. So here is a diagram of the flu virus. And so here's uh, the outer envelope. And if we had a real drawing there to have a capsid in here, um, we have a piece of genetic material, which in flu virus, it's RNA. And then that coats the envelope are these spike proteins. And for flu virus, they're called H and N proteins. And you can watch that video. There are all different kinds of combinations. So we can think of flu as having this H and N classification. Um, and in particular, we're looking as an example at H1N1. That means that all of the different spike proteins are made up of the class, uh, the subclass H1 and N1. So that's the only class you'll find on the surface. So remember, these membrane spike proteins are like receptors. Um, so they're made up, so they're proteins, and they're made up of a chain of amino acids. So remember in the last video, I showed how if we zoomed in on this receptor, we'd see this chain of amino acids, and it has a very specific sequence to make up this receptor. And that's how this virus is able to enter into cells. Through this spike protein, it attaches to its receptor on the surface of a host cell, and it's able to enter in. Um, and it can do that based on the very specific amino acids that are in that structure. So what an antigen is in this case um, is, again, what I said, anything that the body will recognize as both foreign and harmful. So these H and N um, membrane proteins, they are inherently different than animal host cell proteins, which is a very good thing. So our body can recognize little short pieces of these receptors as foreign and harmful. So for example, let's zoom in on this N um, spike protein here. And if we zoom in on this little spike here, on this portion here, we would see that it's a chain of specific amino acids. 
So here I've said amino acid one, amino acid two, amino acid three. So that's just a random designation that I've assigned. So this short sequence of amino acids would be an antigen. So our immune system is able to recognize that very specific amino acid sequence. So that's what I've labeled as antigen one. But antigens, these sequences are a very random thing. So we could have multiple antigens on the same pathogen. So for example, here's our H1 spike protein. And if we zoomed in on this section here, we'd see a different amino acid sequence than what we saw on N1. We'd see, and this is a random designation by me, a amino acid four, amino acid five, and amino acid six. And we can designate that as antigen two. So next, I'm gonna show you um, how our immune cells can recognize uh, different antigens on this virus and how it will mount um, for example, an antibody response. We'll be back.